Hello, hello, everybody. Tonight I decided I wanted to do something a bit different. So, we're going to check out... Fire Emblem Awakening. We'll let the opening cinematic play. And then we'll go into thoughts. So we have, I guess, symbolic butterfly. Going through uh, the war is hell. And then uh, a bright soul light is being chased by darkness. And then overtaken. And then there's a giant dragon. Does that mean we're going to be fighting a god dragon? That's, that doesn't seem good for my health. There is totally not Lucina, I think her name is. I know the that is one of the twists that has been spoiled to me because of Smash Brothers, of all things. And then there's Krom! There's the boy at a... Uh, people falling from a portal. Somebody standing on a giant stalactite that's, like, horizontal. Krom and then some lady who have a child. Three people to three people, and I guess we're going to be fighting a dragon god, and that is a metal design for a dragon. And I'm guessing that that is the Fire Emblem. <laughs> Me, knowing nothing about Fire Emblem whatsoever. But yes. Hello, everybody. I am Neon Icy Wings, and we are going to give... Fire Emblem Awakening a shot, because, well, move off this screen so that it doesn't go in hibbledy bibbledy do, like, restart the opening, I suppose, but basically, I've been meaning to play a Fire Emblem game on stream forever now. Originally, I was going to play Blazing Blade, like, uh, which I believe was originally called Fire Emblem in America? Or was that the next one? I know that there was just something weird with, like, uh, how it all went down and stoof. But, yeah, I was going to originally begin with a Game Boy Advance Blazing Blade, which I believe Roy is from. Either that or a guy who looks like Roy and might be his father, because I think I was like, oh yeah, that's the one that has Roy. Swordsman with spiky red hair, and apparently no, that's not Roy. Which I just think is mean. And then there was, and, and then I think, I forget, Blazing Blade and Binding Blade are connected. One is a sequel, one is a prequel. And uh, I was going to begin with Blazing Blade, then go Binding Blade, Sacred Stones then into the games that had Ike, the GameCube, and Wii one, and then I was going to go and play Awakening on the 3DS. But for whatever reason, my brain just was like, and did not like the idea at all. My brain did not want me to stream Bl Blazing Blade. So I was like, okay, fine, I have energy today. I have energy. I'm going to direct it at a slightly easier target. Fire Emblem Awakening. Which normally would be a complete non-contender for a Fire Emblem game that I would play. Not because I'm not interested. I'm very interested in it. It's just that it's a, a 3DS game. And me, being a not-professional Twitch streamer and not-rich YouTuber, I'm not going to go to the third-hand, fourth-hand, tenth-hand market and buy a used, like, 3DS capture card... And my 3DS that I do have is an older model, which as far as I, like, researched, did not have, like, the capability to be software modded to then be able to, like, stream, like, the gameplay to my computer. I don't know. It was five million years ago that I did this research. But, so, this is basically just a big old disclaimer. That yes, this is emulated, because that is literally the only way that I can get it to be recorded. Like, years ago, I did try to set up a jank-as-fuck 
like, recording setup where I would, like, record my actual physical 3DS. And, yeah, that was uh, way, way before I ever bother, even thought about streaming. But I do believe that I have the emulator set up to, the, to a good point. So the gameplay shouldn't be laggy and choppy. Like, at most, there might be moments of dips, but that's just a, a given. And, like, basically what I'm saying is if Nintendo wants to release a remaster of Fire Emblem Awakening and Fire Emblem Fates and put it on the Switch, day one buy as penance for my sins here. Because I own the games, but I can't, like, actually stream and record my actual copy because evilness. This isn't the PlayStation Portable that had the model where you could actually connect it to a television. No, this is the 3DS. And I'm fairly certain that there are no, like, hardware modders anymore who make it possible to record footage from a 3DS. And, again, not gonna waste the money buying a second 3DS specifically for that. Like, maybe if I was big and was like, ah, oh, this is a worthwhile purchase, but no. So, yeah, we are... First, I guess, let's uh, see. Extras, spot pass, hubba, t hub hubba tester? Let old hubba gauge your unit's compatibility. Okay. But we're gonna go new game. Uh, I'm going to, hmm. I'm gonna go with normal. It is normal, not hard. In my mind, if it was easy, normal, hard, I would do normal. And it's like, yeah, sure, it says for serious beginners, but uh, that, that is what I am. I am but the child. So, yeah. Normal. Casual or classic. Fallen units return. You can save anywhere. Units are lost forever. Each decision counts. I'm personally going to go with casual because I don't want to freak out brain. This will make it easier for me to, like, stream more regularly of this, hopefully. And will m overall let me have more fun. And then in the future, if I really like this game, I'll do, like, hard mode classic to punish myself. But for now, I want to get attached to the characters and, uh, like, not destroy my soul. Let's see. We have m Avatar, the last uh, magician. I guess we'll go with... I know that they're called Robin in Smash, and I think that might be, like, their default name. Let's see. Various builds. Hmm. I guess no, the one build. What face shall we give you? They have five faces. I guess first let's do hair. What's a good hairstyle? I don't know why, but that little hair band really sticks out. See, hmm. hmm. Ah, we can turn. Nice ponytail, maybe. Now let's look at face. Hmm. Trying to, mostly this is me trying to play, like, find the difference between one and four. Seems to be, like, curved eyebrows versus, like, pointy line eyebrows. And one looks away, one looks slightly less away. I'm just gonna go with one. Hair, then... I kind of like the short hair. Again, like this one might be nice if not for just the utterly blinding hairband thing that doesn't even look like it's a hairband. It's just like, I'm going to put a weird thing in my hair. Ooh, but spiky hair. Got that anime. <laughs> There's hair physics. The world is saved. Hair physics, my favorite thing. Also, two belts. You know this character's ballin'. I think I'm gonna go with this hair. Let's 
Let's see. What kind of hair? Ooh. Maybe. There's so much hair option in here. We have 20 hair options. Five faces. <laughs> I think I... I'll go with this hair. I like it. Ah, voice. Tell me your voice. And let me remember the orientation of the buttons. Stay calm. Let's do it. Nicely done. Let's do it. We can do it. Stay calm. Nicely done. I wonder how many voices these characters will have. To, then again, to be fair, they have to, like, uh, have split these options between the male and female because this isn't Baldur's Gate 3 where you can make anything, anyone, anytime, anywhere. Here's how it's done. It's my fault. Nicely done. Now that's strategy. Let's do it. There's three voices. Here's how it's done. Nicely done. Kind of basic. Thanks. We can do it. Thanks. Now that's <laughs> Thanks. Strategy. We can do it. Just so... Thanks. Now that's strategy. It's my fault. Thanks. Let's do it. We can do it. Let's do it. Where's the here's how it's done? Stay calm. Nicely done. Here's how it's done. I think that won me over. That one line won me over for female voice three. Next. Choose a name for your avatar. Indeed. Robin uh, shall be changed to Neon. Because that is me. Okay. Sure. All the Street Pass people are gonna come after me. Does birthday even matter? Let's see. I don't mind. Let's see. Asset and flaw. So I'm gonna guess that means... Is good is bad, but I, and I like how it defaults to luck. Does that mean that luck is like, they're like, hmm, what is the least useful stat? But yeah, this is, a, huh, I don't know why, but this is, I don't know. I'm trying to think. What do I want? Because there's HP, strength. Magic, skill, speed, and then luck. Def oh. Defense, resistance. What's the difference between defense and resistance? To me, that seems like the same thing. So I don't know. Hmm. I know that Robin and Smash is like a like hybrid they have spells and they have strength so i'm just trying to think so i don't know and i also know and also this game also has like uh like deg weapon degradation so i need to be careful so i do not know hmm do not know because HP might be a good asset because it like gives you more like I don't know which <laughs> the old dichotomy which is better H health defense or resistance what even is resistance is that like related to magic strength is obvious do more damage with physical magic is do more damage with magic I I guess Skill. I have no idea what this is, and I'm not going to touch it. Asset or flaw. Speed. In my mind, speed would be good in these games, because that means you get to go faster. You get to go faster. I don't even know what luck is. I'm going to guess critical hit chance and maybe random bonus stuff. Defense. The most I can imagine is, like... Because you can also miss in this game, so it's like... Hit chance, how much damage you do. So it could be, like, the the game calculating how much damage you take from physical attackers. Resistance, I'm, I'm gonna say, hmm, 
I'm going to say I'm going to go with speed and flaw luck because everything else is, like, obvious. Strength, HP, defense, even resistance. But luck, luck seems like maybe, I don't know. Because who knows, maybe luck is actually the super duper best stat in the universe. <laughs> and you're like, ah, you fool. You moron. You went, you got rid of the best thing that ever was, was. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to thunk. What kind of asset and flux? Again, speed should be good. Move faster, get in, get out. That would be good. That would be good. Hmm. But again, like, yeah, I'm, I, I think I'm going to go with this because speed is good to have a boost to because you always want to be able to have control of the battlefield. This is a tactics game. You want to be able to move where you want to move and get in when you want to attack somebody and get out when you don't want to die. Luck, I have no idea what it does. I have no idea. It, like, obviously, it has to be connected to critical hit chance to some degree. But, yeah, we are going to go with this. Ah, use this avatar. Yes. I wonder how much the voice will be, like, used. Would you like to receive notifications? Considering that that'll never happen. No, I do not care to. Premonition. Invisible ties. Ooh. All right, this is some ball in animation. Who is this? Who is this man? Crom, my boy! Who is this Jafar looking motherfucker? Oh no, he's hot. Like in a weird slimy way. This is it. Our final battle. Darn you, you're taking away my voice acting opportunities. Well, there we go. You're one of us, Neon. And no destiny can change that. What destiny are you talking about? Now let's kill this dastard and be done with it. Is da is that a balderization of bastard? Or is that like an actual old-timey insult like dastardly bastard? <laughs> is this like Lobo all over again? We're gonna kill this bastard. A slide guide has appeared on the touch screen. All right. System menu. To open the system menu, move the cursor to an empty space and press the A button. Choose save to record your progress or guide to view these slides. Okay. Slide guides can yeah, flip through once you're done. Okay. You can view these slides again at any time. Play off fuzz. Listen to me. Neon, we have to get closer. Let's move. Moving units. Move a cursor onto a unit and press the A button. Next, select a destination from among uh, the blue bosses and press the A button again. The unit will move to this destination and sing a happy little song. All right. Ooh. All right. He has the falcon, which apparently is a dragon, and the silver sword, and is a B proficiency with swords. A 107 rating and five feet. He is a level 20 lord. Hmm. And who are you? Level 5 sorcerer! And he has almost as much health as my boy! He has more health than me! I'm a level 20 tactician! How dare you! Validar! With Grima's truth? I'm going to guess that's his attack radius. Interesting. You can actually, like, select C. Interesting. But what's this, I wonder? Hmm. Altar. Oh, you actually see what it's called. Validar Grima's Truth. Pillar increases things. Ah, so there's, like... Yeah. Interesting. Wall. 
I wonder. There's the option to click his portrait. Sorcerer, a seasoned dark mage with fearsome mag. He has a little dance animation. That is interesting. All right, that's kind of neat. So yeah, that's neat that you can like select enemies and have them do that. Okay, but this is the tutorial. I'm just being like weird about everything. What? Uh, I have, I have, I can save anywhere, so I'm going to save down here, because <laughs> now that I see this, I have to explore. That has to be like, mm, mm, I don't know, there's stairs, so like, I don't know, I don't know. Hmm. We saved, I have to know. Right. Or will it not let us go down? I don't think it will. It won't let us go down at all. All right, my turn. We're gonna go all the way. <laughs> it, depending on, because more than likely the game does have us locked up here, but it's just like, why would they have shinies down there if I can't go there? Probably because this is an actual map that we'll get to later in the game, because this is obviously kind of like an in medias res where we start in the future and we get intrigued. After you move a unit, a menu of commands will appear. Choose wait if the unit will perform no formal actions. You can also press B to cancel that diddly D. Wait, my dear man. On my mark. Go ahead, Neon. I shall stand beside you. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you resist? Switching phases. You and the enemy will take turns commanding your forces. Once all your units have taken action, the enemy phase will begin automatically. You can also manually end your phase by selecting End from the st system menu. Oh, and now we have a map here. It says two al two enemy, uh, one enemy for us, two allies for us. Nice. I like those little shield emblems for some reason. They, they give me nostalgia for a really old, like kind of tactics game it's been forever i don't even i think it's like something kingdom Ooh, and i think you even see on the map the purple like v it's like you cannot go further from there ah, understandable all right then and he's just standing there menacingly good he's almost within reach let's move in and strike select one of your units and press the a button next choose an enemy within the range the red spaces and press the a button Press the A button again to lock in your choice and attack the enemy. All right, let's see. He can get in and go for an attack. I think once we like do that. Hmm. Oh, and I can do... I presume that since he's a mage and I'm a mage, I can do a ranged attack against him. But hmm, I believe we'll be good to send him in to attack. Possibility of losing health. So he has a retaliation rate. Oh, I can change. Silver Sword, which I'm going to assume Falcon is like a named item and can't be destroyed, his default weapon. But he can have more powerful weapons, but they degrade, all right? Higher hit chance, higher damage. Uh, go, my boy. Yeah. Fools! Struggle all you want! You cannot unwrite what is already written! Strike him down, Krom! Get a crit! No, my boy! Oh, he's not gonna die. Well, let's try! Oh! Bonus! Oh! Kill him! Yes! I feel like the game is trying to endear me to the Husbando right from the start. And now he's burning to death! I stabbed him with a sword. 
Oh, <laughs> okay, first off, damn you, but we can't say bastard. Do we have to say dastard? I'm gonna assume that is a medieval thing and... No, I'm dead! You all right? I was hit by demon magic. I don't think it is. Thanks to you, we carried the day. What happened to everybody else? Because surely it's not just the two of us. I'm dying, Krom. What? No, you're dying, Krom! My boy! My boy! I'm the dastard all along! This is not your... Your fault. What? My boy! Please. We have known you for like 10 minutes! He even tried to comfort me that it was not my fault! <laughs> Damn you, Valadar, or whoever you are, Jafar! You fucker! The Verge of History Prologue. Oh, yeah, because that was called Premonition. You cannot unwrite what is written. Um. What do you propose we do? Uh, I don't so, know. since that was premonition, we can save the boy! I see you're awake now. Hey there. Hello! There are better Why am I on the ground? On the ground you know. Have I been time traveled? Uh, why do I have a tattoo? And why is it like a funky butterfly? They are just straight up. Like, look at this man! Isn't he beautiful? And it's working. You all right? Well, now that I've met you, handsome. Thank you, Krom. So, again, was it actually just a premonition, or are we from the future? I want to know. Hmm? Ah, then you know who I am. Huh? No, actually, I. It's strange. Your name—it just came to me. Hmm. hmm. How curious. Tell me, what's your name? What brings you here? Um, My name is... It's... Um, what? You don't know your own name? Hmm. I'm not sure if... I'm sorry, but where am I exactly? What? Hey, I've heard of this. It's called amnesia. Explain. It's called a load of Pegasus dung. We're to believe you remember my lord's name, but not your own. I have no idea if that's the right voice for him, but we'll we'll learn. But it's the truth. <sighs> what if it is the truth, Frederick? We can't just leave her here alone and confused. What sort of shepherds would we be then? Right. Just the same, my lord. I must emphasize caution. It would not do to let a wolf into our flock. Right. Right then. We'll take her back to town and sort this out there. Wait just one moment. Do I have a say in this? Peace, friend. I promise we'll hear all you have to say back in town. Now come. On the one hand, he's Frederick's kind of mean. On the other hand, these are probably troubling times. <sighs> what will you do with me? Am I to be your prisoner? <laughs> You'll be free to go once we establish your no enemy of Ulysse. How do we say this? Ulysses? 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 I'm gonna say if Ulysses. Huh? Is that where we are? Ulysses? Ah. You've never heard of the Halidum? 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 Well, um, I do not. Why must you throw all these words at me that I do not know the pronunciation of? Ha! If someone pay this actress, she plays quite the fool. The furrowed brow is especially convincing. <clears throat> Frederick, please. This land is known as the Halidem of Ulysses. Ulysses. Our ruler, Emerin, is called the Exalt. I suppose proper indru- ah, Excuse me. I suppose proper introductions are in order. My name is Krom, but then you already knew that. The delicate one here is my little sister, Lisa. What she said, along with a humph. Ignore my brother, please. He can be a bit thick at times. But you're lucky the shepherds found you. Brigands would have been a rude awakening. They almost had it. 
the or an awakening. It's the title. Um, Shepherds, you tend to sheep in full armor. <laughs> it's a dangerous job. Just ask Frederick the Wary here. Right. A title I shall wear with pride. Gods forbid one of us keeps an appropriate level of caution. I have every wish to trust you, stranger, but my station mandates otherwise. Yeah. I understand, sir. I would do no less myself. My name is Neon. I just remembered that. How odd. I suppose that's one mystery solved. Really? Neon. Is that foreign? Would be funny if I, like, had a name. I wonder if that's, the, like, they have a list of names that are like, hey, this is normal, and Krom would react, ah, oh, that's a normal name, and then other names that are not. Did you pick female or male avatar? I picked female avatar, because why not? Ah, oh, well, we can discuss it later. We're almost to town once we... Krom! What she said, followed by, look, the town! Is it, it is on fire. Why would they set the church on fire? And presumably a handful of other places. At least one place. A handful of one other place. Damn it. The town is ablaze. Those blasted brigands, no doubt. Frederick, Lisa, quickly. And what about her? Unless she's on fire as well, it can wait. Of course. Aptly put, my lord. Let's go already! Oh. But what about... <laughs> Get to it, lads. Grab anything shiny and put the rest to the torch. We got set an example to set for these Elysian types. Ain't that right, lass? <laughs> Stay away from me! Please, someone help! Help has arrived! Crom, we have to stop them! Gods. Don't worry. After today, these bandits won't be bothering anyone ever again. And now I'm here! Crom. Wait! Neon, you followed us? Why? I, I'm not certain myself. But I'm armed, and I know my way around a fight if you'll have me. Good. Of course. Strength in numbers. Just stay close! All right then. Shall we then? Remember, Neon, we face practiced thieves and murderers. They will grant us no quarter. It's kill or be killed. Losing units. If, an eight, if a unit's HP drops to zero, that unit will no longer be able to fight. Fallen units are lost forever in classic mode and for the duration of the battle in casual. If either Krom or Neon falls in battle, it's game over. Be careful. Alright, so there's a shiny thing here. Doesn't seem to be anything of worth over here. Interesting. I guess they could just be like, hey, let's make a place and then we can walk over here. So there's shiny there, shiny there. We'll definitely want to grab them. Now the question is... Okay, now I need to remember the weapon triangle. It just came to me. I don't... Like, I've, I hear about the weapon triangle. It's a thing I keep hearing about all over the place. So, mage, that's not part of the weapon triangle, silly. So, immediately, we have axe, two swords, and a mage. So, I forget. I think it goes... Sword beats axe, axe beats spear, spear beats sword? I think? I don't know. Wait, uh... Maybe it has it somewhere. Hmm. Would be nice if there was just like a little emblem. It's like, ah, this is the weapon triangle. Or maybe I'm blind. But alright then. Let's see. Now, we have heal. I don't think you can attack. <laughs> you are just support. He is against... He has a silver lance, so I think against you should be able to annihilate him. But I'll t at the same time, I also, if I remember correctly, there's like a buddy system in this game. So I should try and get characters to like stand next to each other when they fight, I believe. 
Hmm. Sword against sword might be nice. I have no idea what a vulnerary is. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, and he has a skill. What's that skill? Dual strike increases the trigger rate chance of dual strikes by 10%. Nice. No weaknesses. While he is weak to armored horsemen, I guess. This is just me. <laughs> this is just me kind of like, ooh, new things. Look over. Partition. Yeah. All right. Now I just need to see who should I attack with. Hmm. Because... Let's see. It doesn't really matter where we put anybody. He will be able to hit them. And we don't really seem to have the capability of getting to him to hit him in turn. Hmm. So I think what I might do is... Hmm. Because I need to do this tactically. I know that I'm on an easier difficulty, but should not just, like, uh, lose myself to mindlessness. I think what I might do is move her here and then have Frederick come up and smack him with, like, a partner bonus, maybe. Because we know in the premonition we got plus 10 hit chance. Then what we might do is... Because, uh... Let's mark you so we know where your danger is. Then we'll have Krom, like, be here, and me here to maybe do that. Yeah. Right. We'll see who's delicate. I may not be able to attack like Krom, but when you get injured, I'll be the one stitching your bones back together. Care of my trusty staff. You just tell me where to go, Neon. And wait. Now go smack this man and kill him. Combat forecast. Before you launch an attack, an on-screen forecast tells you how it might play out. Press the X and Y buttons to easily cycle through weapons in the unit's possession. Note how the forecast changes. Who has the upper hand? Can you strike twice? Then let's go. Kill this man. 110% hit chance. Kill him! Pet the horse. Really? So, Neon, I see you wear a sword, is it? Wait, is that a tome? You know magic? Yeah. I believe so? I suppose I should check. <laughs> I suppose I should check. <clears throat> you believe so? Perhaps I'll just keep a few paces behind you for the time being. Um, no, I can control it, I'm sure. Now, how did this work again? Ah, uh, yes. Combat Tomes. Tomes allow you to attack enemies with magic from two spaces away. You can use magic against adjacent enemies as well. Oop. Come here. Wait. Because we couldn't get to him in time. No, the healer! Bastard. Is anyone hurt? It would be foolish to leave a wound untreated. Oh. Indeed, timely use of a staff or vulnerary should prevent the worst. Or however that's pronounced. To have units heal themselves, choose item. Select an item like a vulnerary and use it. Units that have with stabs can heal applies uh, can heal uh, allies, not applies. Where did the P come in there, brain? Units with stabs can heal allies within range. Blue, green spaces. Choose staff. Select a unit to heal and then press the A button again to lock in your choice. Hmm. trying to think because I don't think well there doesn't seem to be like a time limit here so I should be able to like get around to the little sparkly spaces on my own time hmm. he has 14 HP so I guess first things first I shall place her here 
so that we can kill this man. Kill him now. Send that man flying. <laughs> Predictable. And let's see. We'll do lots of damage, and he has at most one <laughs> a chance to hit me once. But he has a higher chance to retaliate. Oh well, let's try it. Kill him. Get a crit. Darn it, emulator! I thought you—I trained you better. Oh, how I wish I had a recordable 3DS. Pains and miseries. But this should kill him. Falcon. Would be almost tragic if the Falcon could break. I probably should have checked that guy. Well, he's going for Krom instead of the darling deer, so at least. No damage! I'll definitely have to look into the settings. This did not happen in testing. And I guess I can smite you with my magic. I just get a lot of experience for that for some reason. Are you ready? Still with us, Neon? Hmm, it's strange. Here on the battlefield, I can... Well, I can see things. What? See things? Like what? Hmm. The enemy's strength, their weaponry, the flow of battle. I must have studied this somewhere. Really? So you're saying you can size up the enemy at a glance? Yeah. Yes, it would seem so. And perhaps more if I apply myself. Help at a touch. You can use the touch screen to call all kinds of useful information. Touch your stats, weapons, and skills to find out what they do. The buttons on the right let you toggle between multiple views. Very nice. Now go ahead and diddly-dee. Item. Or, uh, wait. A leader must never rest, never surrender, and most of all, never stop learning. Gain 30 experience. Nice. Oddly enough, hmm. I guess I'll send him up ahead. Because I don't think that, like, that guy has a, I'm going to stand here and wait for you to come to me energy. So I'm not scared of him. But I'll still put Lisa behind. Listen. Are you alright, Neon? Don't rush into danger. Yeah. I'm fine, Krom. Don't worry. <laughs> You've lent us your strength, and that makes you a friend. Having an ally by my side gives me courage. Wow. Thank you, but I think there's more to it than that. Hmm? What do you mean? Um, I believe there's a tactical advantage to fighting side by side. It's fuzzy. Wait, yes. Working in pairs improves strength, defense, speed. Yes, yes, I'm sure of it. Support actions. When place two units in adjacent spaces, they will support each other in combat. Not only will this boost the unit's stats, but a second unit may also block an enemy attack or strike additional blows to your foe. Nice. If only Lisa wasn't the one to get hit. I guess I can still, like... Ah, uh, but it uses, like, some of the heal power. But if I recall, that's the only way to, like, level up Lisa. Uh, we'll, we'll get other stabs, I'm sure. We'll get other stabs, I'm sure. This is a tutorial. Ah, she summoned the abyss. Maybe <laughs> that's the world telling me you have failed. You have aided the dark powers. I wonder if you can stack, like, pe people next to each other. Like, if we have Krom here, Frederick here... Lisa here, and me here, will he get super bonuses? Probably not, but that would be hilarious if he could. All right, I managed to sneak some practice in in the middle of combat while a town burns! Weapon proficiency improved. And again, since this guy's just standing here. Hmm. 
hand axe. Are you a melee guy and cannot... Nope, because he is danger, he can probably throw his diddlies. Because he's a bastard. Hmm. And the only real reason... Hmm. Oh, perfect! This will allow me to hit him and get some bonus stuff from Crumb, I assume. Hmm. Actually, come to think of it. But I want to... Hmm. Because I assume that... Like, me blasting him with magic, then Krom coming in and smacking him should do him. Well, I guess this will be a test. Let's see. Attack! Here, sheepy, sheepy. Come to the slaughter. I blasted you. I throw axe at you. And that hits me. It bounced off my soul. And now smack at him. Huh, rapier only increases hit chance. Oh no. He's gonna be able to hit me. Ah, uh, cuz weapon triangle. Then I guess I could finish him off. Hmm. Congratulations, Frederick. You get the killing blow. Murder this man. Probably could have one shot him. Bah! That is honestly hilarious. Stage complete. Well, that's the end to that. <laughs> Lucky for the town, we were close by. But holy wow, Neon! I guess they don't have holy cows in Ulysses. Ulysses? Well, you are incredible. Sword, sorcery, and tactics? Is there anything you can't do? You're certainly no helpless victim. That much is for sure. Right. Indeed. Perhaps you might even be capable of an explanation for how you came here. Um. I understand your skepticism, Sir Frederick. And I cannot explain why only some knowledge has returned to me. But please believe me. I've shared all that I know. Hmm. You fought to save Ulyssian lives. My heart says that's enough. My lord. And your mind, my lord. Will you not heed its counsel as well? It's all right. Frederick, the shepherds could use someone with Neon's talents. We've brigands and unruly neighbors and all looking to bloody our soil. Would you really have us lose such an able tactician? Besides, I believe her story, odd as it may be. Oh. Thank you, Krom. Listen. So how about it? Will you join us, Neon? Optional bad ending, you decline. And off in the future premonition, Validar's like, What are you doing? That's not what happened! Yeah. I would be honored. Again, I don't know if we time-traveled or if that was literally just a premonition that conked out our memories. <sighs> Did you notice, my lord? The brigands spoke with a... Is it Plegian or Plegian? I do not know. All of these, who knows, maybe they're not even fantasy words. Maybe they're actual words that are just like, ah. <laughs> Plegian accent. Huh? Plegian? What's that? Hmm. Plegia is Ulysses' westerly neighbor. They send small bands into our territory, hoping to instigate a war. And it's the poor townsfolk who suffer. Totally innocent and totally helpless. They do have us, milady, shepherds to protect the sheep. Do not be swept up in your anger. It will cloud your judgment. I know, I know. What? Don't worry, I'll get used to all this. <sighs> My lord, please, you must stay the night. We are simple folk of simple means, with a giant-ass church. But we would gladly toast your valor with a feast. A most generous officer, and no doubt your hospitality would be grand. But I'm afraid we must hurry back to your store. Dark meat only for me, medium well, and no salt in the soup. I simply... Huh? Wait, what? We're not staying? But Frederick, it's nearly dark. When night falls, we'll camp. Eat off the land, make our bed of twigs and the like. I believe you mentioned you would be getting used to this. Frederick! Sometimes I hate you. 
You've quite the stern lieutenant there. Yeah, well, stern is one name for it. I can think of a few others. <sighs> Frederick only smiles when he's about to bring down the axe. Yeah. Duly noted. <clears throat> you do realize I am still present. <laughs> oh, I realize. <laughs> And already they are becoming family. My lord remains as amusing as ever. Now then, shall we be going? Mm. All right, all right. Ready to go, Neon? The capital isn't far. If the capital isn't far, then why aren't there roving bands of good soldiers ready to kill? I guess that's us. We are the good soldiers who wander. And we saved. We can survey. And that means look around. Well, let's see. We already saved, so let's -a go. Begin. Baggins, Chapter One: Unwelcome Change. I have five pennies. This sucks. I told you, it's getting dark already. Ah, now the bugs are out. For me, bugs are out like 24-7. You know, the ones that are still alive. Noisy, disgusting bugs that buzz around and crawl over and bite you in. Ah, one cup in my mouth. Ah, pewee. <laughs> oh, come on now, Lisa. Hardship builds character. Want to help me gather firewood? I said that weird. Firewood? <laughs> I think I swallowed it. I'll pass on finding firewood, thanks. I think I've built quite enough character for one day. We should probably think about food. I don't know about you, but I'm starving. Yes, I should think a little hunting and gathering is in order. Now, who wants to clear a campsite? That is a big fire. Or at least big logs. <sighs> hmm, it's been too long since I last had bear meat. Delicious. What's wrong, Lisa? Dig in. Pass. Gods, couldn't you spear us an animal normal people eat for once? I mean, come on, who eats bear? You're meddling with the food chain. Right, Neon? Uh, Neon? Munch, munch, sir. I suppose a person would enjoy just about anything after not eating for days. <laughs> just eat it, Lisa. Meat is meat. And that's why cannibals exist. What? Since when does meat smell like old boots? Wait, I take that back. Boots smell better. Right. Every experience makes us stronger, my lady. Even those we don't enjoy. Really? Then why don't I see you eating, Frederick? <laughs> Me? <laughs> oh, well... I'm not hungry. I... I had a large lunch, yes, quite. Yeah, right, Frederick. <clears throat> huh? And <laughs> everyone's just sleeping on the ground in their armor. Uh, what's wrong, big brother? Forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you, but something is amiss. Huh? Define something. <sighs> I'm not sure. I think I'll have a look around. Not alone, you won't. I'm coming too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. We're not going to wake anybody else. We think there's danger. They can find out on their own. Silence. Even the bugs are gone. It sure is dark and quiet. Where did the birds go? Something's wrong here. <coughs> what she screamed? Crom! Gods, what? Oh, what is this madness? Lisa, stay close. Not the tweez! 
Stay close. Immediately. Run. <laughs> to be fair, right answer. Why is there lava underneath a forest? They come back to the, the campsite. Everyone's burned to death already. Natural artillery. Fireballs and death. I like that they put so much effort for, like, 3DS cutscenes. Oh, oh god, 69. I see that on the left. And oh god, what the fuck. They just fall to the ground. That's like three store over three stories. And they just get the fuck up. This is anime. Careful, Krom, they have axes. I think that's bad for your weapon triangle. <laughs> okay, still cool. Oh Jesus Christ! Well that explains how they were able to take a three-story fall and literally walk it off. So they need an old slice and stab. Yeah, back to a rock, don't run. And out comes spoiler to the character. Instant replay action. Also, badass pose. Although, I guess, uh, having a sword against your, like, braced against your back right. might be better overall, maybe. Double attack. Now fall over and ghost. Entrance. What's your name? What is your name, O oh masked stranger? My lord, my lady, are you hurt? <gasps> Frederick Neon. <sighs> are such horror horrific? Are such horrific creatures commonplace in these lands? No. They're not from Ulysses. I promise you that. No one is injured then. Thank the gods. Mm -hmm. That masked man who saved me, if it wasn't for him, I'd be... Hey, where did he go? Right. We can worry about him later, after we put these things to the blade. Eyes open now. We know nothing about this enemy. Yes. Right. Player phase. Now we get used to terrain. Hmm, are those? Right. Abandoned forts, yes. I see. Then we should take shelter in them whenever possible. Excuse me? No doubt they will offer distinct advantages in battle. Terrain! Some terrain, like forests and mountains, will boost a unit's defense and ability to evade. Forts and thrones will even heal units at the start of each turn. Nice. Some classes cannot move through certain types of terrain. Neat. Hmm. So there's a... Hmm. So we can at least help guard somebody at that fort. So at least uh, she'll be safe. I'm thinking of sending him here. Let's see. I think we can risk it. Watch us miss that 90% chance. Schmack him. This isn't a fort. My boy! A leader must never rest, never surrender. Most of all, never stop learning. 
Hmm, can I attack diagonally? I can! Get smoked! We'll have these guys come over there to get the other shiny. In fact, I should probably... Oh, no, don't hit me. I'm not in the fort. You fuck. Get blasted. Oh, there's a lot of these guys. But at least there's no other shinies. Uh? Captain Crom. <laughs> what she said. Captain Crom. Wait, I'm coming. I knew I shouldn't have left him. All right, you ash-faced freaks, which one of you wants to try my lance on for size first? I know just a spot for it. Shoved right up your... Hold. <laughs> Hold, milady. Hmm? <laughs> eh? The French have invaded my game. Life may be long, but attraction is fleeting. Would you leave me in your sweet dust? Leave war to the warriors, dear bird. A beauty such as you need wage only love. What in the... <laughs> the hell are you? Oh. Ah, is the lady intrigued? Of course you are. It's only natural. I am myth and legend. I am he who strides large across history's greatest stage. The name who puts... The man who puts the arch in archer. My name, dear lady, is V... <sighs> Sorry, Ruffles. No time for this. Onward! Vir Virion, uh, my name, it's Virion. Wait, wait, where are you going? Pray at least tell me your name. I'm Sully. I'm s I already like Sully. <laughs> She's good. I'm Sully. I'm a shepherd. Yes, yes. Sully, how divine. A starkly beautiful name, as befits its owner, truly. Will you marry me, my dearest Sully? Hmm. Will I what now? Oh, wait, I get it. This is a joke. And when I put my boot through your face, that's the punchline. I realize... <laughs> did, did, did you just say ravishy? It almost sounded like he said ravish me. Like, dude, that's what her boot's gonna do to you if you don't shut up. I realize my manly figure and noble bearing can be overwhelming. Tis common. They're just saying this in the middle of hell. Monsters are out there attacking their friends. <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy is just out here just... Yeah. <laughs> So please, don't feel pressure to answer right uh... How's this for an answer? Oh! Goodness! Ah, those shapely legs and can kick, can't they? Please, my lady, allow me to accompany you at least. Mine is a cold, empty world without you. I shall be your most willing servant, and you in turn will give my life purpose. <sighs> Fine. Anything to shut you up. Ah, stop staring me at, at me like that. I already love them. They are adorable. Let's see. Hmm. Should probably hold back a bit. I think that, hmm, actually. Crom is gonna get... <laughs> Crom is gonna get fucked if we don't uh, come in here and help him. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. Cause she can't get to the training, like special thing in a thing. Hmm. But we could. Hmm. She can't even get to the diddly d. Just trying to find out what, like, the best thing might be. Because hmm. he could attack the archer. And I want to, like, optimize my characters, like, being next to each other and stuff. Hmm. I'll at least... Like, we can always have him come up here. Well, actually... Hmm. Screw it. He'll, he moves the fastest. Go grab it. 
and I took it upon myself to clear away a bit of gravel here. Safety first. Gravel experience. The greatest thing ever. I'll move her forward so that she can... Goodnesses. <laughs> Goddesses and gentlemen. Might I have your attention? I, as it happens, am an archer. The archest of archers, in fact. As such, I attack most effectively from a distance. So kindly keep me one step away from peril, if you would. Combat bows. Bows require you to attack from two spaces away. With a bow, you will not be able to counter, ad counter adjacent enemy tiles. Hmm. I probably could have put Sully into a better position. But luckily, he can only be attacked by one if he comes over here. What should I kill you with? I'm just gonna guarantee it. Bronze sword. Of course I can. This is the first time. Oh, <laughs> a leaping strike! Hell yeah! And a level up. I got HP, magic, speed, and luck. Of course you'll level up the thing I'm flawed in. Now that's what I call progress. And you just stay there. They're going to come to us and try to kill us all. Leave me alone, Archer Man! Aha, you missed! But I had my sword equipped, so it didn't do anything. They are coming for me! My face! Counterattack! Jesus. Ah, good. Leave the lady alone. Oh, now I see. It actually has a... Uh, like, uh, the weapon triangle, like, notification down there, if it's better or worse against that diddly D. Poor boy. I'm gonna have her come down here and heal. Just so that we can. Because there are a lot of motherfuckers out to hurt. I'll come down here and smack the archer to death with my silver lance. And even raise my affinity with Frederick a bit. That'll actually be an interesting relationship to, like, see play out. Like, Frederick and the Robin. Smack him with his sword. It's better against this man. Oh, it's not even telling me his... Oh, hmm. I'll well, we'll kill him. Hit evasion and dodge! Dodge that, bitch! There. Now he's already wounded. Would you kill him? You would kill him. So, we'll go ahead and smote him. Kill him now. A sword uppercut, I love it. And a level up for the boy as well! Skill, speed, luck, and resistance. With resi I guess resistance was his flaw. I can feel a huge difference. I would hope so, man. Hmm. I almost wish that... This was more like XCOM, and I could, like, move him, move her, attack, attack. Like, I think... I know that would be kind of gaming it a bit, but oh well. Hmm. Because I assume that, like, uh, the, like, aiding thing is, like, if they're directly in, like, the cross area, not, like, diagonally. Hmm. Let's see. It wouldn't kill him, though. So I shall attack him from here. Attack him alone. Would have been hilarious if he got a crit there. And smite this man.
Oh, he has throwing. <laughs> leave my boy alone! That's exactly why you leave my boy alone. You... You fuck. Trying to think. I'll have her come here. He'll do a lot of damage. And we won't even get a, a chance to attack back? Sure. Smite him, dear friend. And you missed. What a fool that you are. And Krom can get the kill, because Krom is a good boy. How dare you throw an axe at Krom! Krom was double leveled! Maybe I should have saved that for Frederick. And we just randomly got Sully and the Archer Frenchman. It seems all the creatures are vanquished. This young man took care of the others. I know who you are. I know your secrets because Sakurai spoiled it. Um, I never got to thank you for before. So, thank you. You were very brave. Thank you. You saved my sister's life. My name is Krom. Might I ask yours? You may call me Mark. And we all know that that's bullshit, but we'll play along for now. Really? Marv, after the heroic king of old? You certainly fight like a hero. Where did you learn your way with a sword? No. I'm not here to talk about me. This world teeters on the brink of a horrible calamity. What you saw tonight was but a prelude. Well, I had a premonition. We had a prologue. This is the first chapter and everything went to hell. You have <laughs> Actually, that is funny. This is but a prelude. Actually, this is the first chapter. That would, that would be an amusing, like, fan fiction write-in. The self-insert character who fell to this world and is Robin is just like, Actually, this is just chapter one. <laughs> Not a prelude. Now back at the town. <laughs> back there. That was the prologue. <laughs> you have been warned. Huh? What's teetering where now? Hey, wait! <sighs> Not much for conversation, is he? Right. It appears his skills lie elsewhere. I wager we'll hear his name again. But for now, I'm more concerned about the capital. We should make haste. Wasn't the forest on fire? I feel like the forest was on fire. So this is Ulistol, capital of Ulyss. Ulyss? I, my tongue just does not want to diddly. And apparently my internet died. Darn you, universe! All right, apparently, well, either I caught the tail end of it reconnecting, or for some reason, it was only disconnected from Twitch. The, the evils of dual streaming, I guess. Meh. But, but anyway... Yeah, because I just went to do a test to be like, hey, uh, is, is, like, to load, like, a web page on my browser to be like, hey, is the internet actually dead? And so who knows, maybe my internet just came back at the right time, or maybe, who knows. Either way, I was tumbling over my tongue not knowing how to pronounce Yulistol. Capital of Yulis. I've never seen so many people. You have amnesia. It appears the capital was spared the chaos we encountered. Thank the gods. I see no evidence of the Great Quake. It must have been limited to the forest. Well, that's a relief. I do like... <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> I didn't expect an old man to just be like, Oh, dear God! Look, the Exalt has come to see us! <laughs> well, let's do a better voice. Look, the Exalt has come to see us! I was going to say that I really liked the illustrations that are playing up on top. The Exalt is your ruler, yes? Ah. 
Yes, her name is Lady Emerin. Is it safe for her to walk among commoners like this? The exalt is a symbol of peace, Elise's most prized quality. Long ago at the dawn of our age, the fell dragon tried to destroy the world. But the first exalt joined forces with the divine dragon and laid the beast low. Uh, you know, I would joke, like, what if Robin, us, the player character, is the divine dragon all along? But likely, no. Smash would have would have spoiled that, too, I'm certain. Exalt Imarin reminds us all the peace we fought for then. Mm. With Plegia poking at our borders, the people need her. She's a calming presence with some might, when some might otherwise call for war. And the Elysian people are indeed lucky to have her. <laughs> She's also the best big sister anyone could ask for. <laughs> yes, I imagine she... Wait, what? She's your... But wouldn't that make you and Krom... <laughs> the prince and princess of the realm, yes. You remember Krom's name and not this? <laughs> you said you were shepherds! <laughs> and so we are, in a manner of speaking. We just have a lot of sheep. Krom, I mean, Prince Krom. Sire, forgive my dreadful manners. <laughs> Just Krom is fine. I've never been much for formalities. Oh. The prince and princess. That explains why Frederick tolerates all the teasing, eh? Indeed. Oh, the sacrifices I make for the good of the realm. Hey. It looks like Em is returning to the palace. Would you like to meet her? I am already meeting the family. I'm so close to bagging the husband. Up. <laughs> then there's just me trailing behind. Crom, Lisa. 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 I think it's Lisa. Is it Lisa or Lisa? I don't know. I'm gonna keep saying Lisa. Welcome home. Oh, and good day, Frederick. How fared you all? Mm. Well, we shouldn't have any bandit problems for a while. Wonderful. And our people? It's all right. Safe as they can be, Em. But we still need to watch the borders. The brigands crossed over from Plegia. Forgive me. Forgive me, my lord. My Pegasus knights should have intercepted them. No, no Phila. Phila? Phila. Your duty was here, with the Exalt. <laughs> and besides, we had plenty of help. What? Ah, you speak of your new companion here? This is Neon. She fought bravely with us against the brigands. I've decided to make her a shepherd. Oh. It sounds as though Yulis. Again, my brain wants to say Yulis when it's like Yulis. Brain. Get God. Yeah. It sounds as though Yulis owes you a debt of gratitude, Neon. I'm gonna stumble every single time this country is mentioned. Not at all, my lady. Forgive me. Forgive me, your grace, but I must speak. Neon claims to have lost her memory, but it is only that, a claim. We cannot rule out the possibility that she is a brigand herself, or even a Plegian spy. <coughs> Frederick! Crom? Yet you allowed her into the castle, Crom. Does this woman have your trust? Yes. Yes. She risked her life for our people. That's good enough for me. Oh. Well then, Neon. It seems you've earned Crom's faith. And as such, you have mine as well. Oh. Milady. Thank you. But thank you, Frederick, for your prudence as always. Crom and Lisa are blessed to have so tireless a guardian. I do hope they remember to mention that from time to time. Indeed. They occasionally express something akin to gratitude, Your Grace. Fila, I assume you've heard about the deathly creatures we encountered, yes? Yes, my lord. What she said. They've been sighted all across the Elise. Crom, we are about to hold council. I was hoping you could join us. Good. Of course. Ah. I think that's our cue, Neon. Come on, let there's a place I want to show you. And we have to walk all the way there. Support conversations unlocked in the wrong button. I guess menu. Support conversations. I guess we'll do support conversations and then we'll save. So much unlocked. 
let us activate conversation time. Listen, finish training for uh yeah. Finish training for today, Neon. Yeah. With combat practice, yes. But I thought I might review a few battle histories. Good. You should relax a bit. Put your feet up. Experience shoulder. Experience shoulders. Experienced soldiers, soldiers rest when they can. On a campaign like this, you never know when the next battle might break out. Wow. <laughs> so I've noticed. With all that's happened recently, we've barely had time to even eat. Hmm. It's been a tough road, to be sure. And it's only going to get harder. Hmm. I do try and rest when I can, though. A lady needs her beauty sleep, after all. Huh? Uh, <laughs> huh? What, did I say something? Hmm. Uh, no. No, it's nothing. It's just that, well, I just didn't consider you the type to care after beauty and such. I suppose I've never really thought of you as a lady. Harsh, Crom. <laughs> exactly. Excuse me? Forgive me? No, I mean, I didn't mean not like that. This is to say a lady per se, er, uh, you know, how you fight and strategize and not to say a lady can't fight it, but gods, this is all coming out wrong. My goodness, Crom. You're the scion of a noble family, aren't you? Didn't they teach you manners at your fancy schools growing up? Yes. Oh, gods, yes. Of course they did. We spent a whole term on etiquette. Huh? Perhaps you could use another term, this time on how to talk with a lady. Right. It's just my image of a lady as someone so prim and proper, perfumed and pretty. Nothing like you at all. When I look at you, I just don't see a lady. Does that... Er, uh, Neon, what are you doing with that rock? I'm thinking of a sharp blow to the head might fix your eyesight. What? No, wait! It was just a joke! <laughs> Gotta go! I don't believe it! The little craven actually ran away! What kind of manners? Sheesh. Oh, well, perhaps it's only fair. It's not like I think of him as a gentleman, let alone some fancy noble. <laughs> ah. That is an am- <laughs> Just crom. Stumbling over his tongue the entire way through. Uh, that's odd. I could have sworn he was over here some... Aha! There you are, Frederick! Jeez, why the grumpy face? Yes. My fear, this is the only face I have, milady. Is there something you needed? What are you doing back here? Well... Inspecting the contents of our armory for worn or damaged equipment. Oh, oh I'll help. No. I cannot allow that. You could cut yourself or accidentally... Do you think I'm an idiot? Honestly, Frederick. Forgive I think you are a princess whom I'm duty-bound to keep safe. Yeah, yeah, boring. Really? Was there something you needed from me? Huh? No, no, I mean, yes, but I wanted to ask you a favor. Right. How may I serve you? Mm -hmm. I want you to train me like you do the others. I'm tired of struggling to keep up with everyone. I want to hold my own. I see. A fine idea. It would be my pleasure to assist in your training. Though I must warn you, I am not a gentle teacher. Be certain you want this. Oh, I am! And now she is going to be begging for death in five days. And now we're going to save. But yeah, I'm really liking this. I'm really liking this. Granted, it was the, this is the easy start. But I think we're going to stop here. Primarily because we went a decent way an hour and a half. Well, kind of an hour and a half. We also had a bit of a pause where, like, one of the streams failed for a few minutes. But, yeah, we went in, like, three encounters, the premonition, prologue, and then chapter one. So, I think that we will stop here, primarily so that I can try and sort out the technical issues, like the, primarily the, 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 the textures being weird. I do, I tested this game years ago. Well, years, months, I don't know. Time's an illusion. But I tested it a long while ago, and that didn't happen before. So I'm going to have to mess around. See what's diddly ding. Like, I can handle a few hitching. It's still annoying. But graphical glitches are indeed the worst thing ever. But, yes. Fire Emblem Awakening is a lot of fun so far. The characters are fun. And I can't wait to see more. But thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. An edited content YouTube channel that I am trying to make content for, I am sorry. As well as, uh, well, and that one is called Neon Icy Wings. Just, yeah, I have a YouTube channel. How do we get to it? I'm not going to tell you. Madness. But yes, 
the edited content YouTube channel is Neon Icy Wings. Then if you want to see past streams of mine, I have the gaming YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games. There you can watch me play games of the past, like the first two Ace Attorney games I'm playing through the third. Then there's also Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Undertale, the Mass Effect trilogy, lots of games if you want to watch me s the streams of the past. And if you prefer to watch me play these games live on YouTube, that is where you can watch me play these games live. If you prefer Twitch, twitch.tv slash neonicywings is your channel to go to. If you want other things from me, like my little avatar in the corner, the art that I draw, I have various sites that I post to that can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings. The sites are many, like Blue Sky Now, Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Inkblot, Pillowfort, there's so many freaking sites. And all of those links can be found in my link tree as well as links to my writing and Patreon. If you want to read what I've been writing, and I've been writing a lot, and writing is nice, and if you want to throw a dollary do my way to help me survive the evils of the world that is none too different than what happened there in Chapter 1, then you can do that too and save a, a cool cat their pain and misery. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.